Good morning. So why am I waking up at 6 a.m.? Well, today was 6.30 because I missed my first alarm. But I got coffee with a friend recently and he said he's been waking up every day at like 6 to 6.30 a.m. Not getting on any sort of social media for like the first hour and a half a day. And then really taking that time to just like reflect, take his time, actually eat breakfast, and fill his morning with like productivity. And so I figured I wanted to try that. I'm super bad about waking up in the morning. I will wake up around 9, 9.30 and then stay on my phone until like 11.30 sometimes. It's really embarrassing. My sc I checked my screen time last week and it was astronomically high. So I'm gonna try to be intentional with this week and like waking up early and trying to be as productive as possible. I almost never ever wake up before the sun is up. It's just now starting to rise. But the goal this week is gonna be to wake up at 6 a.m. every day. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. We'll see if I last. First day I already overslept 30 minutes, but I'm proud of myself for even getting out of bed. So I know I've attempted to make drip coffee in the past and it went south, but I'm gonna try to do it again because I need some sort of caffeine and it's the only caffeine I have in this apartment. Okay, now that I have a coffee, I think I'm gonna go on a walk. I always see like my neighbors walking in the neighborhood, so I think I'm just gonna be one of them today. Get my mom walk on, walk around with my coffee, and just kind of think. Staying off my phone though, staying off socials. And I guess I'll come back here, eat some breakfast, and then see what else I can do with the day. Well, it's definitely raining. <laughs> So I don't think this walk will be very long because water's getting all in my coffee. We'll walk until I get tired of getting rained on. Cheers. Oh man, this is so peaceful. Literally no one's out because it's like drizzling. It's like 7.30 a.m. It's a really crisp morning. The houses in my neighborhood are really nice. Like really nice. Like this person has an orange tree. Who has an orange tree in their front yard? Should I take one? It's also like very suburban and I feel like everyone's looking out their window right now wondering why some kids talking to their phone with a cup of coffee in their hand in the rain nevertheless I'm just gonna keep walking listen to some music I'm enjoying this this is great oh that was nice I enjoyed that I think I'm definitely gonna make that something more regular I don't think I'm gonna film myself every time though because I look kind of like a maniac it's 7 46 a.m. I am already starving and I am gonna make some breakfast. I practically eat the same thing for breakfast every single day. I eat avocado toast with either oatmeal on the side or Greek yogurt with like some raspberries. I usually shop at Trader Joe's and I feel like they purposely either have things that are completely not ready to be eaten or it's gonna expire in like three days. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? I feel like they literally set the expiration date for like four days later and it's like a loaf of bread and you're like, how am I gonna eat a loaf of bread in four days? Can someone do the science on that for me? I don't know why they do that. stuff is crack. If Trader Joe's did get anything right, is this. I don't know who they're paying, but they need to pay them more. Oh! It just hits every time. It's 821. I kind of chilled for a second. Um, I still haven't been on any social media today. At this point in the day, I would normally still be dead asleep, but if I was awake, I'd probably be just scrolling through Instagram or TikTok. But man, I've I've loved having a morning so far. Usually I work out at like 5 p.m. ish and it's always slammed. So I think I'm gonna go try to work out right now. I feel like this is a time where people are already getting to their jobs and getting at work. And so I feel like the gym should be relatively open. Okay, I'm gonna go work out, bye. Got 
because I just finished up the gym and I just made a, oh, I just made a very unfortunate mistake. I was leaving the locker room and I chugged my water bottle and I threw it in the trash can. I went back to get my gym bag and I noticed another water bottle in my locker. And I know this is the one I walked in with. And so I went and looked back in the trash can. I don't, I don't know whose water I chugged. I don't know where I got someone else's water, but I know I came in with one water bottle and I must have left it in my locker room and I drank someone else's water bottle the entire workout. Why didn't anyone stop me? Why didn't the owner claim their bottle? Well, happy Omicron. Okay, we are back from the gym and I'm feeling very tired. And I know what you're thinking. You're like, Trevor, 6 a.m. is not that early to you. To you, it's not that early, but it's early for me. But I still have stuff to do, so I am gonna go to a coffee shop and start doing some work. It is only 12.23. It may just be a day that's chill, but really productive. It already feels like I've had an entire day, and normally I would be like just having my first meal right now. So <laughs> things, are, things are looking good. Oh, today is so much worse than yesterday. Guys, I somehow keep missing my alarm. I'm setting my alarm before six, like right at like 5.55, and I somehow am like only becoming conscious at like 6.22. I'm gonna have to change the title of this video to waking up at 6.27. I knew the second day would be the real test. Oh, let's get ready. All right, ready to go. I'm gonna go to a coffee shop that I really like, but I don't go too often. It's like five minutes down the road, and we have the whole morning, so let's take our time. I think there really is something about, like, the morning air. Like, why is it crispier? I guess it really is just reserved for people that wake up early, which is me now, so it's reserved for me. I think the hardest part about waking up at 6 a.m. is just the act of, like, actually getting out of bed. The first battle is in the sheets. You literally just have to mentally commit. Like if you're a skateboarder and you're dropping into a half pipe, like it's that same sort of commitment. It's like, okay, I just gotta do it. The other part people don't talk about is trying to go to sleep early. That's my issue. Before this challenge, I would be on my phone until like sometimes one, one thirty-two. But that's what I'm learning is like another portion that contributes a lot to waking up early is falling asleep early. Some coffee shops get it and then other ones completely miss the mark. There's coffee shops I really, really love to go like sit and work in. They only serve like, they're like, we don't have vanilla syrup. We have simple syrup. And I'm like, I don't want simple syrup. I want vanilla syrup. Just serve vanilla in your coffee shop and I'm there. You have my business. It doesn't take much to win me over. I'm on your side. I'm on your team. I'm team coffee. That's good. That's good. Now that we're back and we have a coffee, I'm gonna make some breakfast today. I'm kind of in a rush because I'm actually meeting up with a friend for a coffee at like 10. And so I'm just gonna make something quick because I think I'll have enough time to do a load of laundry before I leave. Today we're just gonna do like oatmeal and a banana. There's breakfast. Okay, I've eaten. I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to get a load of laundry done. I think I'm gonna have to do that after I grab coffee with my friend. I feel like laundry's gonna take like a little over an hour. And so I would just be cutting it really close. I may be able to get it done. Luckily this laundromat is like literally three minutes away. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be cutting it pretty close, but it's now or never. That's so not true. I could definitely just wait until after I get coffee with my friend to come back here. Right now it's now or never, so. I think we made a good game time decision there. Thank you for your input. I really heard you over the screen telling me that this was a good idea. I remember in like high school, it was really cool to go to like an old laundromat and do like photo shoots and stuff. Bethany, get in the dryer. I thought it was like so cool and so edgy. It looks really nice and really cool and like vintage and like who goes to a laundromat? Trevor goes to a laundromat. People actually do use these. They're not just for photo shoots, Bethany. Guys. We got it done. 
I know, I know. I really, really needed to do that load of laundry and I'm glad I got it done before 9.30, which is crazy. I was down to like my bad underwear. You know what I mean? You know when you're like, you have your good underwear, you wear those first, then you kind of work your way down until you get down to the underwear that you like barely touch, you never touch. Underwear that has holes in it or it's just like too small or too big, doesn't really fit you. I was down to those, so I really, really needed to do laundry. I'm actually wearing a pair of socks I wore yesterday. We're not gonna talk about it. The rest of my day is gonna be pretty chill. I'll keep you updated. If anything interesting happens, I'll let you know. You'll be the first to know, don't worry. Okay, see you later. On Wednesday and Thursday, I was able to wake up a little bit closer to 6 a.m. It obviously never got any easier to wake up that early. I made these walks pretty regular and I think it's something I'm gonna continue to do after this whole thing's over because I really, really enjoyed it. And then like clockwork, I'd go back to my apartment and clean up and make some breakfast. I tried to switch it up so that I wasn't making the same thing every day. I was starting to feel like a robot just eating avocado toast and oatmeal every day. I even got some journaling done, which was another goal of mine for 2022. And yeah, I had this little product shoot that I had to do in this park and I had plenty of time in the morning to go and do that. It is now Thursday night and tomorrow is my last day waking up at 6 a.m. But I want to make sure I end this week the right way. So I'm going to do something that requires me to get up a little bit before 6. But I definitely think it's going to be worth it. I'm already dreading getting out of bed tomorrow morning. So I'm going to get to bed now and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. I'm on my way to a place that is very special and has an incredible view and I'll check back in with you when I get there. All right, we're here. There's no one up here. I'm about to show you my favorite view in Los Angeles. Well guys, that is the end of this week's video. Thanks for coming along and waking up at 6 a.m. with me this week. I don't think it's something I'll do every day forever, but I definitely picked up a lot of good habits and learned every benefit of it. Especially views like this, like you only get this view and this sunrise if you wake up early enough. But yeah, thanks for coming along and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one.